What's up YouTube? How's it going? I'm back again for another random video. So I thought of an interesting topic to talk about while I'm out and about driving here on, on holidays. I jot down ideas of videos to make, you know, whatever. My channel is not anything special, but it's my own opinion and I do it all in one take. So it's come up a few times. I've been working with drivers at work and talking to people and about God and what this thing is. What do I think about death and uh, what happens when we die? And I have an interesting belief on it. You know, they, they always say, don't talk about religion, don't talk about politics on your channel. Well, I don't, I don't do either. But I'm just giving my opinion of how I think we all came here, the creator. <laughs> Recognize, buddy. I find it funny that people always refer to God as he. How do you know if it's not an it or it's not a girl? Why, why are we always saying he? You know, was he a person? How can he be anything? I know the Bible. That's what I mean. I don't want to get religious. I know all the shit that's said in the Bible. They made man look in my image. But what if God or this power that created us is just that, just, you know, high energy spirit that, you know, zapped us all down here. Oh, man. I think when it came to the Bible, religion talking here, is that it was all a bunch of stories. They all got together and wrote about it in this book. Jot down memories, you know, just have something to remember, um, you know, because they didn't have MSN and all this shit and messaging MSN. <laughs> they didn't have uh, SMS messaging and all this stuff that we have now. So it makes perfect sense that, you know, they wrote it down in a book. And, you know, I, I do believe Jesus was a real person to say he was God's kid. I don't know. Um, you know, mental health is really just starting to take off now. So can you imagine back in the day, if someone was going around saying they were God's child, they were probably looked at a little bit of a cuckoo, you know? So my opinion on that is some of the shit maybe this person was saying was not real. Maybe it, it's all real. We don't know. We weren't born at that time. And um, my belief about God and, and about ghosts and all this UFOs and all this other shit is pretty much if it's true, we would see it more often than not. Maybe you only see God when you die. And what I think about death, and I got real deep with one of the drivers last week when we were working together... We were talking about why our brains need to sleep and all that shit. I find it funny. I think when we go to sleep and why we dream off in La La Land, it's like we're, our, our consciousness is so tired that we need to sleep to regain more consciousness. That's why they put you in a coma, right? They try to heal your body. Um, well, control your body. I know why, but I'm just saying. Um, so we go to sleep. It's like uh, the predecessor of death, right? When we're sleeping, we don't know what's going on. Just like when you die. You weren't born. Before you were born, nothing happened. So I think after you die, it's the same exact thing. Why would there be such thing as suffering? Why would God create us to suffer? Suffer in eternity. What if this is just one of our lives that we're living right now? What if this is death? What if we're living someone else's life? What if, what if this is a freaking matrix or whatever they say? Or we're living in a simulation and all that weird shit. You know? To think of God as someone that would put you here to punish you. If he already knows what you're going to do and how you're going to react and not believe in him. Then the guy, the person or whatever knows all the answers you know 
He made child molesters. He freaking made rapists. He made the worst people the worst people of the world. So who's to say we're not already living in hell? How do we know this is not, you know, the freaking great abyss? And then when we die, then we truly get to go to the better world. Maybe, you know, like, I just, I don't know. It sounds fucking weird to me. And then there's other religions. I work with Muslim people and I'm like, you know, their religion makes sense too. I like their religion. And I asked them, I was like, why don't you guys eat pig? Well, gee, Matt, would you eat something that eats everything? And I'm thinking, yeah, good point. It's not like I'm containing their stomach. I'm not eating the contaminants of their of the pig's stomach. I'm eating the meat of the pig. But I guess a pig is made up of what, you know, you are what you eat, right? So that's a good point about that. I thought that was very interesting, but I still eat pork, so. And so do a lot of people in the West. But it's religious stuff, right? Why have multiple wives? You know, why beat your wife? Why treat her like shit? Why not let her be shown? They're, they make lots of good points. I'm not here to talk about that. Because my opinion on God, and I, I, I guess I don't want to be shunned and have to speak for myself when I die, but it's a fine line. You know, like Native people, they believe in spirits and all that stuff. And, and uh, to say one one thing did everything you know it's kind of almost unbelievable but I think the way the universe and and God and life and death and all of this stuff it's it's so beyond our capacity it's like they purposely did that so we could not figure it out and understand it they don't want you to be able to figure it out you know we haven't explored the ocean only like what five percent like it's so beyond our freaking brains that it's just it, it's meant that way for a reason you know we're not meant to know and that's why when people get all religious and shit and they try to boast their opinion it's just like well who are you to say you know the answer it doesn't mean you do holy crap man this guy's like we're doing 100 let's go <sighs> so I'm not gonna say I don't believe, but I'm not gonna say I 100% think. There's definitely something, you know, there's definitely, to think that there's not other life out there would just be plain stupid. But, you know, like, we're all a ball of energy. That's all we are when we die, you know, our consciousness. Maybe when we die, our soul goes off somewhere else. Maybe the soul doesn't die. That makes sense. You just live your life in a different body. But how our souls got here, you know, that's just crazy. I don't, I don't even know how to, what, what to say about that. <laughs> but some religions believe in multiple gods. Um, that's cool. I like Greek mythology. I always thought that was very interesting and learning. Um, you know, um, the, she, she was still a virgin. She had a kid, like... How does all this shit make sense? Technically, Adam and Eve had to have sex with each other to create more. But in the Bible, it says that's a sin to not sleep with a family member. And and if you sleep with the your family, you make messed up babies. <laughs> you know, so there's lots. Noah fighting a whale. Oh, my God. Or eaten by a whale. Like, crazy. Crazy talk, man. I don't get into religion. I don't watch it. I don't preach it. I don't listen to it. Believe whatever you want, you know. Um, yeah, but this whole God thing, it, it's, I think, I truly think that all these asteroids, yeah, eventually they're going to form, make a big, make the big bang. Um, you know, it's going to mix chemicals. It's going to mix things. It's going to create life. And over hundreds and thousands of years, you know, it's just like leaving something on the table. Like, oh, that burger is not going to change. But that hamburger can change and, and create little particles of freaking nanometer, blah, 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 of little bugs. And then those bugs, like, where do those bugs come from? Do they come out of the meat? How do they come out of the meat? What came out of the earth? A little tiny insect. And that insect ate the other insect, made a bigger insect. And then boom, 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 right? It just created all these different creatures and animals. And it's like, we're not supposed to know how they got here. They just got here. 
And that's why I think that's what's so crazy about life. We don't understand how it just got there. We need, we're humans. We need to have a reason for everything. Let's just not put a freaking title on everything. Let's just be like, hey, you know, if the whole world was wiped out and we had new, new life form come to earth, they'd be like, what are they living in? What are these poles with wires? What's this like steering wheel in them? Like, what is this thing with four tires? They'd want to figure it out. And they would never know. They would just think, oh yeah, something else had to have been here to create that. But then they'd be like, well, what's metal made out of? How did that get created? And how did this get created? And oh, there's a big creator that created this. And that's just the way it is. Well, what if there is a reason to all that? Instead of, you know, what if there's a reason to all that? You know, dirt, like someone grabs dirt and says, oh, it won't turn into a human. Letting something sit for hundreds of millions and billions of years, it's gonna change. Everything's gonna change. The dinosaurs left, new things came, blah, 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 blah. It's just the way the earth is. But to say that something put in here, I don't know, man, I'm on the fence. I don't know. I just truly believe that when you die, that's it. There's nothing left. There's no torturing. Um, it's just like sleeping, you know? And people don't, when they're dying alone, they want to think that there's something else with them to protect them. And that they'll go to a better place because death is so creepy. But you know what? There probably is nothing. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing is not torturing you. Nothing is, you know, um, scared. It's just absolutely nothingness. Your brain shuts off, your consciousness goes away, and that's the end of your time. And that's what I truly believe about all this God stuff. It's all in our head. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos as I try to upload not so often. And I'll talk to you real soon. Bye for now.